I'm gonna come back another two, three feet so I can get the gantry forward right to the rub rail there and should be able, well, no, I can't come back any further. Should have used the tractor because I'm on my ladder and my truck is up against the building. So there you go. That's as far as we can go. What's up everybody? Welcome back to Boat Restoration by Ben. It's another day and another road trip in the truck. We are heading up to Redding, Pennsylvania to officially pick up the Wellcraft 33 Coastals twin rebuilt Caterpillar 3116 diesels and transmissions all bolted together, painted up, taped up, and fully rebuilt. So I got a flatbed trailer behind me. They're gonna get strapped to that trailer here in the next, uh, let's call it an hour. And we're gonna hot shot them back on home to the uh, BRB shop and figure out a way to get that gantry around and pull them off and put them inside and eventually get them into the Wellcraft project. So thank you guys for tuning along. It's been a lot of hot shot and videos here lately about me on the road going to take care of business, but all part of the mission here to make all this work and my dream of a successful boat restoration by Ben channel content and following a reality. So thank you guys for watching as always. And here we go. Almost up to Pennsylvania to pick up a couple Caterpillar diesels. Woo. If you guys haven't already, go down, hit that like and subscribe button. That helps me out, make more content for you guys more easily. You know, I wouldn't be out here on my own doing it if it weren't for the uh, the following that we've uh, that we've established so far. So thank you guys for that. Also, we do have merchandise. We do have membership program on YouTube. Anything like that helps out. So thanks guys for the love, and thank you for watching. They're dusty. They look clean though. I don't think we'll find any issues with the transmissions, but yeah. It'll be fine. Yeah. up and we're going home they're a lot smaller than I envisioned in my head which is uh which is a good thing it means it'll be easier to put in the boat just wanted to make sure they were really tight down
Well, just about home. Motors are still back there. And as always, two and a half hour drive became three and a half or four because of traffic. And I am so excited to not be on the road anymore. But I gotta get this trailer that I'm renting back to my buddy um, before the night's over. So it's like 5.30, I'm gonna get back at like 5.45. Unload the engines, we'll see if the 955 John Deere can uh, pull them off. I don't know. I think that's a little bit above its lifting capacity, but uh, we're going to find out because I really don't want to have to move the Chris Craft to back the trailer in to get the gantry over the trailer. I'd rather move the engines off the trailer with the tractor over to the gantry. So anyway, it would save me a bunch of time, but we'll see. So anyway, just about back to the shop, get these things unloaded, um, and then set back in the shop for the time being until I can get to them. Um, at a later date and get them thrown or at least test fitted into the well craft. I'm tired of driving. Thank you for not going anywhere, engines. It's always, uh, you know, I wish I had a box. I, I mean, I have access to a box trailer, but there is no way to get the motors in and out of the box trailer um, with the situation we got going on. So gotta have a flatbed strapped down to pick them with the gantry hoist anyway that's just how we're doing it right wrong indifferent not gonna lie this was quite the maneuver to get this thing in here because i've got one way too much stuff in here already two i didn't want to move the chris craft but i think i did it at least close enough to where i can get an engine to swing back slightly but look at this I mean this is it's about as close to threading the needle as possible I'm gonna I'm gonna come back another two three feet so I can get the gantry forward right to the rub rail there and should be able well no I can't come back any further should have used the tractor because I'm on my ladder and my truck is up against the building. So there you go. That's as far as we can go. Huh. I'm gonna pull forward just a touch so I can remove my ladder from this situation. This is fun. There you have it, the motors are home. Quick, short video, but had to go on a little bit of a journey to collect the last piece that the 96 Wellcraft 33 Coastal needs for it to be officially put back together. So we've got the twin 3116 Caterpillar diesels. They've been rebuilt. 
They've been sitting at the rebuild place for 12 years, if not more. And now they're in the shop. So that was a lot of work to get them off the trailer, use the gantry, shimmy around all the stuff. But up next for the Wellcraft, these motors get hung from the back. They come in and they're gonna get dropped in place. Let's hope the motor mounts work. Let's hope everything fits. Let's hope the wiring and hoses all fit up properly. I'm sure we're gonna have to order a lot of new stuff. But as always, thank you guys for watching and we will catch you in the next Boat Restoration by Ben video. All right, see you.